Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, last time we had yet another raid, this time from some people who were trying to besiege us. That did not go well for them. Um, as you can guess, they didn't even get their weapons made. I've got a whole bunch of survival meals down here that I want. Um, I wonder if I should actually set those on haul urgently. Well, anyway, I want to get that together, so my goal of today is to get everything set up such that we can flip the reactor on at the latest, hopefully by the next episode. So I'm starting to take the animals that are coming with us, pop them into crypto sleep. I'm going to take the ones that are out, and I'm mostly going to ship them off to someone that will take good care of them. Some of the utility animals I may keep around, but the vast majority are going to go off and find a new home up the river. It'll be fine. Just everything will be cool. Don't worry about it. Also in that process, I'm kind of tightening up the base here. I don't need all these rooms, so I'm taking them out. I mean, it doesn't really affect our wealth or anything like that, but... It's space that we don't need. I'm not going to be, you know, getting any new colonists or anything. Um, I'm actually going to be wedging my production stuff up here a little more closely so I can take some of this out as well. So that's the plan. I'm going to make a couple new body parts. I've got a couple arms and an eye. And someone may have been working on a leg somewhere. You know, we'll put those on a shelf. We'll have them all ready. Everything will be great. When you lose an eye, we can just plonk a new one in you. No big deal. And then we need to gun for scallion i've got that lined up with somebody who's making that well somebody's making it i've got it queued up somewhere and then yeah moving the bedroom start getting rid of raw materials so on and so forth it's just kind of exactly what you'd expect basically once you're uh knocking people out can you go ahead and pop them in crypto sleep wait wrong button sorry Uh, this is more complicated than it should be. I've just got a lot of stuff coming apart. Oh, and I need to run a whole bunch of power lines, too. That's always fairly important. Because I need things to not get, you know, uh, like, shut off in a surprise manner. Okay, you need to stop riding Skyrocket back and forth across two or three feet. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. Whatever. Undignified bedroom. That's because no one's gotten to it yet. Ah, crap. Uh, that's not good. Um. Okay. Well. Let's see what we can do about this. Not much, unless it's a very small raid. Oh, some of them showed up in pretty bad shape. That's good. Um, who's got some EMPs? Can you just make them stand still for a little bit? Is it anyone nearby that's got an EMP? Oh, thank God for events. Get up here, get up here. Get up here. I really don't want things to be on fire. Oof. Okay, nice job. Okay, so now... This is actually kind of handy. Um, let's release a couple of you. Who are you? Okay, you are not a pyromaniac. Not a pyromaniac. Not a pyro. Not a pyro. Okay, the rest of you, we're going to go deal with this other centipede. Don't shoot at my guns. They blow up when you do that. Actually, maybe I need to send over at least one more. Um, not a pyro. Okay. Okay. That was extraordinarily lucky. Extraordinarily lucky. <sighs> wow. Like, that could not have been more lucky if I'd tried to be lucky. Okay. <laughs> well. Let's find some animals here. Um, here, you actually need to care to crypto sleep. Well. Thank you for the raw materials. I'm having a hard time keeping track of my animals here. I actually have a spreadsheet that I'm going down because of course I do. Mm-hmm. So as I type the wrong keys, so you're carrying panda, yamsha. I'm sure this is very interesting. And you're carrying owl. Okay. Um, Skyrocket's gonna stay out. I think I'll put Flippy in. 
Flappy. Let's get Fuzzy Fritch and Flappy can both come along with us. Um, Fritch. Anesthetize. And I'm not going to release the rest of the, like, extra animals into the wild because I don't know where they would end up. Like, they could end up someplace terrible. So I want to make sure that I send them to a faction that will, you know, give them a good quality of life. Treasure them, if you will. With the love and dedication that they deserve. Okay, so I have all the regular animals that are going with us already loaded up. Um, Skyrocket and Pancake are staying out, because they're mounts. So that still leaves us three spots, but we'll deal with that a little bit later. So let's pack up some of these people. I think we'll send them to the Empire. They like us. They're advanced. They could deal with it. Did I miss you? I must have. Well, anyway. Um, yep, let's just send the cats out. Oh, this is so sad, but it'll be okay. You know, you're going someplace nice. Night Skyrocket. Um, Professor S, yes. Oh, you can't fit in two, really? That's actually quite funny. In that case, let's launch three. All right, let's launch these guys out. So go ahead and accept. You'll get loaded. You'll have clear out our space. I'm going to be bringing whichever Gregs are not going into here. I think that will be okay. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Wait, did I try to load Asur? I shouldn't have. No, he should be in there. Okay, transport pods are ready. Alright, so we'll just send you over to the Empire. Because they will take good care of our people. They already like us. So long. Farewell. Yeah, allied. That's for sure. Okay, let's build some more pods just in case I need them. I can't imagine why I would, but that's no reason not to throw a couple on here. Well, we'll just have two. Like I said, I'm doing my very best to like start taking everything apart. Because that is my plan. Is it a good plan? No. Uh, probably not. But it's a plan. And let's close off these rooms as well. Oh, you got that charge rifle done already. Wow, okay. Um, okay. Uh, new guy. That's your charge rifle, I believe. Mm-hmm. You know, it might not be a bad idea while we're making extra stuff is to make one more set of EMP grenades. They just, they just come in handy. Wrong place. Yeah, just make them. We need them. Sort of. And most of these are not set to be replanted. Let me just double check. No sewing. Yep. Oh, a bulk goods trader. That could actually be kind of helpful. So first of all, you remove our feria. As such. We're going to deconstruct as such. I forgot to replace this wall. As such. Ada, being our only friendly person in the entire base. Why don't you come give them a call? Hello. So mostly, like I said, I want to just launch this stuff away, but when it comes to low quality or low durability, this is by far the easiest way to find things. Alright, so there's, I don't know, there's some stuff. Whatever. Major break. What's up with you? Oh, I did kill your mother and your brother, didn't I? Hmm. Well, sorry. These things happen, you know? They just, they just do. They happen a lot around me, but that's not the point. Menace pods. Okay, hold on a second here. I'm in the process of, like, making my power grid super redundant and ugly in the process. Okay, got a lot of circles here. Menace pods. A mechanoid swarm. Do we want to deal with them? Mmm. Murder sender. No, not at the moment. Thank you, though. So I added another windmill over here for absolutely no reason other than to have... It's just more redundant power supply. We don't need it. But. But yet. 
I like having things, I don't know, a little redundant. I think you guys are just finishing up what, like limbs and stuff? Yeah, um, another trooper armor. Someone's making another marine armor, because it turns out I don't have a backup for that. Okay, and you guys are just doing other stuff. That's fine. I wish Bison wouldn't get sidetracked, but it's okay. But yeah, just please get this stuff done. I don't really know what you're all doing, to be perfectly honest. You should all be, like, working in the base. A psychic drone, that's not so great. So, for reasons that I cannot adequately explain even to myself, I'm just about done shrinking my base. Give me one second here. I can kind of show you what the current story is. So, yeah. I took apart some of the stuff, like the nanoprinters and stuff. I think there may still be a few other things I could disassemble. Maybe, but I don't see them, so whatever. Get everything kind of crammed over here. And then there's still some free space. I could do something else with that if I wanted to. And we might. I don't know what I want, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm rather surprised at that myself. I'm very uncomfortable with this whole thing where I'm making a base smaller. <laughs> it's like, what do you do with that? I don't know. It's new to me. All right, let's take all this out and all this out. To some degree, this is very fun. There we go. It will make everybody happy if I remove the roof. Otherwise, they get all weird. This is supposed to be a remove roof anyway. I took that other AC unit and stuck it on my little chimney here in the middle. Because I think that's cool. And do I need to run new power? Only a little, actually. Good. Good, good, good. It's not really affecting our wealth, but... I don't know. I took apart the scanner. Um, I took apart one fab bench. I took apart Ada's fab bench. Ada, actually, I took apart two of them. Um, it, I think that the two are left here are... Tries and Bisons. And that's a good combination in my mind. They're both, uh... They're both pretty unstoppable. In and of themselves. This should actually be somewhere a little more centralized. How about that? Yeah, then we'll have three in here. That'll make me feel good about myself. <laughs> Wait, did I see that we don't have any in the hospital? We do not. We're going to build them right here. Because they can kind of sidestep this stuff, I think. That's how movement used to work. Is they could move in kind of this slightly diagonal pattern. I don't know if that's true anymore, to be honest. We'll just assume that it is true. I like how uh, they can take this stuff apart from the back. Okay, let me double check our power. Um... Yeah, it's, it's probably fine. Okay, so how are we looking? We're just catching up on some boots. We're good to go on a lot of the rest of this stuff. I may have to shift some of those bills over to keep everybody busy. We've got clothes made. We don't need any bionics at the moment. We'll just turn it off. Same with the animal bionics. Yeah, that psychic drone isn't good for anybody. And there's a couple more bits of slag over here. Please haul those. Bulk goods trader. Um, yes. I'd love to dump some of this junk. Oh, in the kitchen. Yeah, there's been some radical changes in our kitchen. But first, <laughs> we can get flamingos. Oh, uh, no. That's okay, though. Thank you. Alright, just some low-quality stuff again. I don't really like spending it. Oh, hi. <laughs> I don't really like buying it and coming out ahead. Um, But I just need that crap out of there. And you know what? Let's delete the cowboy hats entirely. Because I'm not making any more of those. And then I can part with them. And once this caravan gets up here, we are going to give them so much stuff. Good news, people. You're about to become the victims of my generosity. Where are you? Come here. Yeah, here. I wish I could give you more. But this is... Wait, hold on. Crap. And I'm going to get money out of this too, aren't I? Well, hmm. 
Well, it turns out I can't really load you up with enough money to just gift it to you. Ada... Whatever, you're outside. Okay, well... This is terrifying, but I think it's it. So... Need to get rid of the last few animals we have. Actually, we don't. We'll keep you guys around. Cheetah for sure, even though Cheetah's definitely going with us. But everyone has all their stuff on. Let's go ahead and let's keep you guys in your combat gear all the time. So, let's see here. Come on, there we go. Combat. That doesn't change most of you. It does change nothing, but I just want you guys ready to go at all times now. Like, just ready. <laughs> That's a stupid way to put it, but you know what I mean. Man, this also lets me determine that it looks like we are short one duster, are we? That surprises me. Hmm, there you go, whatever. And is this helping our wealth at all? No. Well, at least it flattened out, right? Oh, I was hoping that some of this would help, but it's not. Ooh, can I tame? I can tame the next animal. No, there's nothing here I want. All right, well, I'll try to remember that. I'll keep it up over here so I can remember to take a look at it here and there. Yep, nutrient paste dispenser's just gone. We don't need it. So, goodbye. Farewell. We've got an oak. Okay, I'm actually not terribly happy with the amount of medicine that we have, but I think it will be okay. And I think we're about ready to start sending some raw materials out too. Let's start doing that here. Well, I'm trying to be good here. I'm sending them some random cocktails. I'm sending them 700 cloth and 600 devil strand. In fact, it's 600. I'm just worried that like I'll need to make stuff and then I won't be able to. And then I think one of the Gregs is also in here too. I think Greg the fourth, Greg the third. So go ahead and do that. This should be a pretty good hit to our wealth. Oh, I could have sent out some steel and stuff too. I forgot. Well, we'll do it again shortly. All right. God, these people are going to love us. Plus 54. <laughs> um, did that help? No. Okay, well, I'll keep trying. This is actually really quite funny. Okay, so who should we send stuff to now? As soon as I can find my faction list here. Who else likes us? You don't mind us. Let's send things your way. A neutral of minus 19? Yeah, we can, we can help with that. Plus 84 goodwill. Gifts this big should be sufficient to make everybody love us, is the way I look at it. We're going through a lot of chem fuel. But that's okay, we can afford it, because we have a lot of organics. <laughs> Wondering if actually I should turn one of these back on. Yeah, you know, let's flip that on so I don't forget about it. Ritual opportunity soon, very good. This is so funny, I can't destroy our wealth. And another gift to you, plus seven, is that enough to make you allied with us? No. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll try a little harder, but at least you don't hate us. I really actually don't want you coming to our defense, ever. So, don't do that, please. I really don't need it. Actually, I don't need any animal beds up here, do I? I can just go ahead and take some of these out. I can set the rest of these as medical. Yeah, I like that plan. Because you guys can all go sleep down here. It's fine. Ugh, I'm trying to drink tea and all of a sudden... A what? 
a legendary bird in East Asian mythologies, symbolizing high virtue and grace. It also symbolizes the union of yin and yang, and is believed that the bird only appears in areas or places that are blessed with the utmost beauty and prosperity or happiness, and we have none of those. Traditionally described as a composite of many birds, it's also often become called a Chinese phoenix. Oh, and we can tame you. Or rather, Convero can come tame you. Convero, good news. Come tame. Well, okay. Rescue it then. This is cool. We could definitely use a mobile like um, Psychic Soothe Beacon Emanator. Pods and insects. An infestation of 45 hives. Ooh. Um. Hmm. A silent neuroformer, which would let me bring Zack up to the point where they could use, I don't know, whatever I have, Farskip, something worthless. A healer mech serum. Or an infinite chem fuel reactor. Honestly, I think I would prefer that. I can heal everything. Okay, let's make this the bold finish here. Okay, yep, hold on one second here. Let's flip everybody onto indoor mode. Wait, you guys shouldn't be changing any clothes. No, stay in combat. Actually, wait, shouldn't... Where's Lucy? That is... Turk? Yeah, Turk, you should be set on Lucy still. Yeah, absolutely. Or else. Okay, everyone's inside. What few animals we have remain are also inside. And let's go ahead and let's take that quest. This will be fun. Yeah, a chem reactor I think would be helpful. Yeah, just have it kind of slowly tick along. All right. Oh, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. And here I was all worried. All right, me. Let's see here. We've got mega spiders, spleopedes, and where's the little guys? And Mega Scarabs. So whatever that number is. Thank you, me, for providing that for us. Um, yeah, let's talk to the exotic goods trader before we go deal with these guys. Anything good here? Hmm, buying cataphract armor is actually kind of tempting. In fact, this would be a great way to get rid of some money, too, because I bet that doesn't have any value, does it? Oh, yeah, it does. Uh... Well, whatever. That's fine. I'm just trying to get rid of it. I don't need the Neurocure Framework. Or any of the rest of this. Here, you can have some tusks. And that's probably it. Yeah. Damn. You know what? I don't even have a research bench anymore. <laughs> well. Oh well. So it goes. Yeah, I uh, don't really have a lot of space to store here, some of this stuff anymore. It's getting uh, a little out of control. Probably should have sold them some tea. Oh my god. Even I think this is a lot of tea. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hey, the rescued animal joined us without having to do anything. Phenomenal. Hello. I'm not going to rename you at the moment. Where are you on here? Oh, there you are. Right there. Hi. And you are going to be in cats. Probably all the time. Y yes. Just so you can wander around and make people happy. Cool. All right. 1800 hours. Also known as the witching hour. It's not, but that's what I'm using it as. Who feels speedy? 
or rather, who is speedy? Who's in a good mood? You're playing billiards. Uh, good news. How fast are these guys? Mm, movement speed, 2.8. Oh, I thought you'd be a lot faster, but you're not. Hmm. Okay. All right. So. Yeah, you'll come on over here. And everybody else, why don't you just go ahead and hang out for the moment. We'll be with you shortly. Actually, no. You know what? Everybody else, come to your defensive positions. Yep. And yes, I'll move around the ones that are in EMP spots. In fact, let's do that first. Scallion, you come over here. Lag, you come over here. Perfect. Okay. This is always kind of fun. Mm-hmm. They don't care for that, that's for sure. It's a good thing we have a fast mountain man or else we'd be in some trouble. Well, I should probably find my fire users. Let's make sure they don't get bored. Good, good. Okay, fire users, you are... I have this crazy idea where I'm going to actually make a post-it note that tells me, like, who has what. Oh, that's not really the best way for you to come in. But it's fine. Come on. You got this. Good, good. Let's keep nothing up front here in case we need to take care of this before the fire takes hold. Okay, so those of you who are left who are still in a good mood. I've been kind of releasing people bit by bit. Let's go take out the hives. This should be more than enough firepower. And it's still early enough in the day. I think you can shoot okay. Let's find out. Looks like the answer is no, actually. Hmm. All right, let's park you guys right in the middle here and just let you do your thing. Ready? Have fun. And I believe that's it. Pods have arrived. Cool. Thank you. Um. Yep. Cool. I want to make sure this didn't change your outfits. Still in... Oh, that's why some of this is messed up. Okay. Okay, I think that will help. Lots of extreme break risks. Yeah. And Barry has gone catatonic. Great. Someone want to come get her? Okay, a little bit of patching up. Um, People have decided, you know, not to eat or anything. So, whatever. This is going to be annoying because it's going to say that Sinner is constantly producing filth, even though they're not. So, oh well, no big deal. All right, well, I think that uh, today was pretty successful. When we come back, we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip the reactor on as our very first step. And so, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Which may include first waiting for Barry, but we'll find out.